Hi there. Have you ever noticed that in your smartphone, it's likely to be a lot of features that you don't use? A typical one is Siri or one of the voice recognition services that not that many people use so far, but it's growing. It's growing a lot. It's a really good example showing that Moore's law is already providing you with a lot of things that you can do that you still don't use. So most of us, not to say all of us, are not ahead with what Moore's law is providing us with at this moment. And this explains a lot. Now, imagine you take your laptop and go down to one of these local laptop shops and ask to compare the one you have that your office have paid for with the one that you could buy in that shop. In most cases, the ones you find in the shop is better than the one that you have. And what that show is that on the individual level, we might not be that fast in order to get ahead with more slow, but on organizational level, we're even slower. And that's why you literally out on the private good market can find, in most cases, better laptops than people who's employed by big corporations have. This leads to something, right? Well, it leads, for instance, to this. Maybe you've heard a lot of companies talking about the so-called legacy problem. It's another word for getting rid of the old systems that we have. And then they launch a big project, spend billions on it. And then for a strange reason, just a couple of years later, you hear the new CEO saying he's gonna, or she's gonna launch a legacy project. And then you hear it again and again. And here's the thing, you're likely to heal that for a long time in the future, simply because getting ahead with more is law. That for an organization is really difficult to achieve. So what I'm trying to say is don't expect the legacy problem to be gone, even if we work on it.